I had the great privilege of being at the University of Virginia back in the early 80s with Ralph Sampson and Jeff Lamp and Rick Carlisle, Olden Polonese, great teams. We had great fan support. That watching, watching Virginia, the way it operated, was very much first class. And I thought if I could ever get a head coaching job in the ACC, that's the way I would want to build our program and build up a fan base with the student support, with the community support. And, and so when my staff and I got there, my coaching staff and I discussed, and go, okay, what are our steps? And I said, the first thing is we have to understand we have to recruit everybody, not just recruits, but fans. And uh, my first week on the job, I went to Sir Pizza. Do you remember Sir Pizza right by uh, Merrick, Merrick Park? And four young men walked in. They were like teenage years, like 12, 13, 14. And I stopped eating my pizza and went over to them and, and said, hey, do you guys play basketball? And they all pointed to one young man. I said, you play basketball? And he said, yeah. I said, what's your name? He said, Matthew. I said, what's your last name? He said, Matthew Deutsch. Oh, I said, are you David Deutsch's son? He said, yeah. I said, well, you tell your dad to send you to my camp. That was one camper. A young lady, Kim Manor, came over to me and said, hey, I have a son. Can he come to your camp? I said, how old is he? he she said, five, but he's a great athlete. And I said, well, my grandson's coming, and he's five, so they can be kind of friends. So they did. We tried to build the camp up, and my message was this to my staff and to the community. Look, at, we, want, we, we want you to, to join us. Our players coach the kids at camp. They're going to be friends. Come to our games. Buy season tickets. I said that every day. Buy season tickets. Buy season tickets. Come to our games. And so the players did. And I told them very, very clearly, if we win, I want you to come down to the locker room and say hello to the guys who coached you this summer, the guys on the team that you're watching on TV. But if we lose, go home. No, no, nobody, nobody wants to talk to you after a loss. And so we kept building. This year alone, we invited a Category 5, the Spirit Group. Uh, there were 80 members of our, of our law school came to, came to a practice. We had the band come to a practice just to watch and get to know our guys, and we ate a meal with them afterwards. Everything is about inclusion. So our, our, our job as coaches, I know it's to coach the sport, but it's really to be an ambassador for great universities. Miami's a great university, one of the top 50, top 50 schools in the country. The city is paradise. It's 75 degrees every day. I go for a walk and go for a, a smoothie every day just so I can sit on campus and, and look at the beautiful venue we live in. Did I answer your question? I don't even remember what you asked. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So what, what has happened through my 12 years is everything has grown in the right direction. We've got greater support for the program. We've got greater fans coming to the program. More people are aware of us. We're in the great ACC. It's a great conference. And so the students really got behind us very early. And that's just grown and grown and grown. And now the, the community of Coral Gables, we have... 5,000 tickets sold to come to Houston. 12 years ago, that, that, that wasn't even possible. But now everybody's behind us. We're going to have a great, great uh, support come, come Saturday night.